Back to the dining hall to have everyone recap what we just saw. In their own way. Or not, just these two. Okay. Your favorite. <laughs> mm, one after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall. We actually didn't get to hear what Toko said, so maybe he'll ask. Mm -hmm. Before too long. There we go. It would appear everyone has returned. She has to say. But still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Hey! <clears throat> hey! Don't be a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still feel the basketball team. Girl. She glanced. No, 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 no. Even if one more person dies, glances at Biakuya. We can still feel the basketball team. That's just... <laughs> That's like reverse positive thinking. W wouldn't that be negative thinking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. Can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. You want a group hug? Is that what you want? Byakuya wants a group hug, everybody. I heard him say it. I won't give him a hug. <laughs> Huggies. I bet he'd love that. F in chat to hug Biakia. <laughs> Two Fs if you want me to shank him while we do. What about yeah, yeah, three? Yeah, yeah. We can hug him and then you can shank him. <laughs> I checked all the windows on the fifth floor. Front to back. That used to be kind of Sakura's job, but... Anyway, no dice. There are metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor, either. Hmm. But, when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. What did you notice about the layout? You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Uh-huh. No. Uh, why do you ask? Because if you did, you must have noticed something. The fifth floor is lacking something every other floor has. Was it bathrooms? Something... I The reason why I'm saying, like, was it bathrooms is because I haven't actually noticed if there are bathrooms on every other floor. But I know there weren't on the fifth. I was thinking more that, like, the bottom section of it field, field, felt kind of, like, empty. Or more stairs. I don't know. Maybe it's the, that it's the top floor. Got stairs! Eh. There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. Is that what you're talking about? Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? I mean, did you want to keep discovering floors every time someone died? I don't know. Fifth floors is a lot like of floors. The only good part about people dying. Hmm. <laughs> We're finally starting to get a clear picture of this school. Yep, just had to kill half of us to get here. Although there is one set of stairs that you haven't seen. Yeah, it's still barred off. Mm -hmm. And all that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. But that's the hardest part. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, he does right. Everything will be okay. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out, no matter what it takes. Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor. And I, and I found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant... A chicken coop. And I know what you're gonna say, but a tool shed. I really want to talk about the chicken coop first. <laughs> there were a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, right? That's right. That's... Five. Five chickens. Ah. 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 I haven't <laughs> seen that face in a while. I love chickens. <laughs> Let's yep. raise them up big and fat, then we can make fried chicken. Oh, our barbecue. 
Decisions, decisions. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Or how about raw? There's nothing fresher than raw. Pina, you yeah, cannot uh, eat raw chicken. Um, Pina, poisoning right there. Pina. <laughs> And Hina joins the I've accidentally killed myself squad. <laughs> <clears throat> yep. I'm pretty sure that'd kill you. Even he knows. Even he knows. <laughs> There's a big garden up in the head. And a plant. Let me, let me, let me do it. Me... Monokuma said it was called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. It's totally a man-eating plant. I'm pretty sure it's different from the one that lives in the pipe, though. Oh, Mario reference. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Okay, piranha plant, okay. I get it now. Anyway, that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh, yeah. Apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 on the dot. Yeah, remember that. You don't want to get drenched and catch a cold. Well, you don't have to worry. Oh. They say idiots never catch colds, you know? Wow! How many colds have you caught, Nina? But wow. Nina, he looks genuinely, like, happy about it, though. Mm. Like, hey, aren't you glad you're stupid? Also, though, yeah, during my free time with Hina, she did mention she's never had a sick day. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, you know, you're also fucking stupid. <laughs> of course not, because <laughs> idiots never get wet. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, th I think you're thinking of ducks. Why would I say that? Ducks get water off a duck's back. Yes, I get that, but like, what? But, it, but well, no, he's not wrong, though. Ducks' feathers have a. Uh, yeah. They're hydrophobic. I, I, I know, that's yeah. why the phrase water off a duck's back exists. But, like, I just don't um, understand why Makoto evolved. Like, why is this a comeback? Uh, I feel like Makoto might also have never been sick before. Mm. Yeah. Also a dummy. <laughs> I'm starting to worry about you, Hito. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? What the fuck, Hito? <laughs> <laughs> 110. Wow. You know what? It's 1,010, okay? Hey, come on. You don't always have to call me dumb. Only when it applies. Which is always. You guys, <laughs> do you guys know that 10 plus 10 and 11 plus 11 are the same number? What? What's 10, yeah. what's 10 plus 10? 20? What's 11 plus 11? 22. 22. <laughs> I get it. Yeah! <laughs> I, I knew exactly where you were going. I, I pulled that line on my son all the time. Like, all the time. Oh, I, I didn't Oh my god, <laughs> <Some> people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do that one. <laughs> yeah. Same, same with you, Levin. It's not fair because I get sick all the time. <laughs> hey, one plus one equals window. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that one. The snozberries How? taste like snozberries. <laughs> I don't understand. Stop. Aki, the, the, Aki, the one plus What's one. The, the one plus one yeah. one works if you draw it. But draw everything touching. You put the one plus one plus right next to each one, other, and then, and then the you put equals... the equal on the top and the bottom. Yeah, that one's less of a joke and more of like a, uh, aha. <laughs> yeah, right? It's cute. All right. I feel so dumb. No, it's okay. <laughs> I need to go home. It, it, it's, it's all right. You're not sick. I am. She is? <laughs> Um, sorry, did did Nemo? I got so distracted. Did Nemo say this line? Yes. Yes. Did. Yeah. <laughs> I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't make me stupid. I mean, he's not wrong either. It's true. But if it'll make you happy, I'll answer your dumb question. So, um, what was the question again? Don't worry, you just answered it. Not no. really. <laughs> he just he forgot. He didn't remember what the question was doesn't mean that... He dumb. He doesn't know what 10 plus 10 is. Eh, eh. Do you really want to take that risk, though? <laughs> <laughs> you noticed it too, huh? That pickaxe? 
Huh? What about a pickaxe? Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed. And the words Crazy Diamond had been carved into the handle. Haven't we seen that phrase before? Yes, god fucking damn it. It's been so long since Londo died. Yeah, it's hey. been like a week and a half. <laughs> but like four other people have died since then. Trauma <laughs> is a lot. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Crazy diamond. Hmm. Yeah, that does sound kind of familiar, I think. The thing that bothers me is that for them to say this in Japanese, it's Diamondo. They're literally saying his name every time they say this. <laughs> Y'all are dumb. <laughs> I don't just think. I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Huh? Where? Oh. Uh, I remember. Yeah! That... It's his fucking... <laughs> it's a phrase that's easily to spread around. Oh, you yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we rescue Zadar just to suffer? <laughs> <laughs> because Kabalia would have been worse. Don't worry, Zadar is no, suffering now too. You can at least make fried chicken out of Tabali. Two? Ow. If we ate Zadar, he's like a dragon, but he's kind of got like the same meat as like alligator, wouldn't he? Why are you suddenly becoming a meal? So why? <laughs> Matt, Carl, I'm sorry. I don't know why they're trying to kill all your characters. <laughs> Like, because he keeps making the jokes a... about the butter. It's okay, Carl. I always knew you were a snack. So we'll I... fine. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> Alrighty, it was Mondo's uniform on the back of his jacket that's in my inventory. He pulls it out of his pocket. His jacket said the same thing, yeah, yeah. right? Crazy diamond. You're absolutely right. He said I'm right. <laughs> Look, guys. That's a first. I got, I got, I got, I got noticed. Like, That's high praise. Right? I got a Biakia snack. <laughs> uh, but why would that be on the pickaxe in the garden? <laughs> Mondo must have snuck it in there and done it, right? It was But we didn't have access to the garden until today. Oh, that's, that's actually a smart thought. Maybe Mondo brought it with him when he first came here, and Monokuma confiscated it. Whatever the reason, that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed. The pickaxe connected to Mondo. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Mm. It was the chickens. Mm. No, but no. Exactly five chickens. In the tool, in the tool shed. shed, though. What did? What I noticed was a lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we can use it to call for help. Huh? <laughs> uh, I, I huh? would like to see where this logic the worm stopped, goes. I feared that Monokuma would show up. Oh, no, no. Uh, no. The stream is lagging a little. It was really very fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> How are you going to call for help with a lawnmower? Oh, oh. the stream broke. No, okay. we're good. It came back. I don't know. Maybe I can use it to make a crop circles or something. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to make crop circles. For what in the sky to see? We are in a closed and, building. And even in the garden, it was a painted ceiling. Yeah. Uh, just so you know, you're... Yeah, your, your stream was kind of lagging. Oh, I don't... Yeah, hmm. Might need a refresher? Yeah. Uh, Our internet's just been really shitty lately because we've been doing construction down the road. Yeah, uh... we have very bad internet too. Oh, okay, so it's a New West thing. That's wonderful. I'm, in some ways, I'm comforted that if you're also having internet problems, it means it's not just like our router is broken or dying or mm. something. Well, see, I'm worried that mine is, though. <laughs> No, 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 but if I'm also having issues, then, you know. Yeah. I wish I could lower the resolution, because you guys could still read it at 480. Or whatever it is, after 720. Yeah. 
But I can't. Only 720 Discord says. But it does remind me, Misaki, if you got a few minutes after Danganronpa's, I just want to chat with you about something. Okay. This has to do with uh, Christmas Freaky. That's a great mm. movie. Yeah. Hey, a new modem, because I tested my internet speeds last night, and they were horrible. Yeah. Alrighty. <clears throat> and we can use that to... Yeah. And we can use those to call for help. Uh, sorry, swallowed a bug. <laughs> That's a hero, too. <laughs> what the heck's happened to you? You've accused him of murder two times in a row? And then called him dumb two seconds ago. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's the bullying, you know? <laughs> and you've been, like, constantly undermining his intelligence the entire time. You've been Even here. though you are just as fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she's hot. That is true. I mean, Hero's also hot, so I don't know. Yeah, Hero's hot. <laughs> you weren't like this in the beginning, you know? Neither were you, Hina. <laughs> <laughs> well, back then, my personality hadn't quite solidified yet. I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. And I don't Why know. would his personality I need to solidify oh. when, like, over time in a school? I think it's more of a play on, like, like how an anime would do. He's had development, oh. or we and got to know him more. Okay. Hmm. Hi. 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 Make like three sentences. Three sentences. Misaki. Misaki. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. It, it sounds like it's coming through now. It's yeah. Coming you, back. Should, <laughs> you, you shouldn't look directly <clears throat> into the fan. Mm hmm. I didn't even know you could have a real live garden inside of school. All that green is super relaxing, you know? Just gotta make sure we don't get body snatched. Hey! Okay. I like that movie. <laughs> the Monokuma flower is enough to keep me away regardless. Okay. Uh... Sure. No, no, he's gonna talk to us about the bloody room, actually, so... Wait. He's not gonna talk to us at all. <laughs> hey, Byakuya, it seems like Toko wants to say something. So, why are you telling me? Oh God, I fucking can't stand you. Well, because you told her to zip it or whatever. Ah, I'd forgotten about that. So wait a minute, he told her not to talk. but And it's not like, he, I know it's because he doesn't care, but at the same time, he was also probably just like, man, it's nice that she's being quiet for once. I wonder why. <laughs> like, you <laughs> fucking idiot. Jesus, man. I know you like torturing her, but come on. Well, Toko, if you want to envelop us in all your putrid breath, I won't stop you. I don't like this one. If you, you honor me, master. Mm, she does. She likes him enough for all of us. Uh. And uh, don't worry, I took care of the uh, odor problem. So she brushed her teeth? Probably like swallowed like seven. Did she take a shower? <laughs> Seriously? You're just gonna take it? Just shut up and don't interrupt me when masters me and me are talking. Okay. So, what did you want to tell us? Well, I was in the classroom on the fifth floor, and so something caught my attention. Oh, it, it was this. A Bowie knife. A knife. A fucking knife. <coughs> what do you have? A knife. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a knife. The fucking. Hey, no, she's that's a knife. Knife. <laughs> That's not a knife. That's a spoon. Ah, I see you played knifey spoony before. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 Sentences taken out of context. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, that thing is huge. It's like Rambo size. Rambo size. 
<laughs> oh, really, Rambo? <laughs> it's a survival knife of some type. Lady, your butt. But what was it doing in a classroom? How would I to know? That wasn't a question for you, necessarily. What are you going to use that knife for? What are you planning to do to us? <laughs> Immediately. To I am not, not going to do anything. I just picked it up. I didn't want to leave a knife lying around. I'd rather have it laying around than in the hands of a serial killer. No, Hiro, I'd rather have it in the hands of someone who's not a serial killer and also not lying around. I mean, I would rather it be in the hands of a serial killer who doesn't use knives. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's not part of her MO, so... It won't get used. Mm -hmm. Don't compare me to her. I'm n nothing like her. Yeah, she'll use a knife, not scissors. That's oh, true, well. though, actually, yeah. <laughs> I just want everybody to know that my phone's battery is at the funny number. Hey, yeah. Hey, you, you, got your, you got your phone to 420%? Yup. <laughs> I, I was going to say 24. 42? 23. But well, you know it's funnier than 24. 25. Oh, I don't understand. That's a SpongeBob, SpongeBob reference. <laughs> but you yeah, knew what I it did. was! But you I did know. <laughs> I did, because I remember seeing a birthday cake that said, you know, it's funnier than 24. But... I've never seen like the episode because I don't watch fun. It's Rock, honestly so not a not concept. a shining moment to be honest. It's not funny. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. They actually they actually made made that into a board game, and that was actually at the board game store we went to uh, the other day, Misaki. Oh no, that sounds horrible. All right, <clears throat> listen. More important, now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do with it? Put it with the other knives in the kitchen? Yeah. I don't know. What have we been doing with any other knives? It's definitely not a kitchen knife, though. <laughs> I know, but yeah. you know where it is, you know? <laughs> we can't let Toko keep it. That's for sure. We don't know what she might do. I don't want it anyway. It's too dangerous. So what to do? Yeah, of course. Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? Hey, that isn't the knife that was stabbed into the person we saw at the beginning of this chapter, is it? Yes, it is. Ah. Uh, well, Look who's getting it. I guess I'm going to jail. Horny jail? No, just normal jail. Oh, Kyoko here. Me? Oh, yeah. I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Thank you? I mean, he's one of the few that's, uh, that hasn't gone around trying to kill people. Or yeah, he's beginning. People. Then that's that. Hold on, don't I get a say? It just shows how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. Okay, so, so here you go, Makoto. Shank, no. They're acting like I already said yes. Fine. I guess there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. Anyways, th that's all I wanted to say. Hey, Toko. Ah, do, do I still have a bad, bad breath? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, it stinks. I'm sorry, it stinks. I'm sorry. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. But... Okay, but here's the thing. Senpai praised me. But here's the thing. I know Toko's gonna make it weird in a second. But, like... <laughs> I do appreciate this one thing about Byakuya. He's not so pompous that he can't admit when someone's done something good. You know, like in the in like I think it was the second case when we discovered stuff. He was like, "Huh, that's actually really useful." Okay, cool. You know. And then he gave us help back. Yeah, like that. That is the one characteristic trait of his that I'm just like, okay, fine. At least you have this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Still hate you though. Ah, ah, ah.
I, I, I think we broke Toko. Yeah, we did. did Master just praise me. Oh, that aspect is no problem. <laughs> this is going on YouTube! Sorry! Just bleep it. <laughs> and leave just the... Like, yeah, just like, beep during my entire conversation. Okay. <laughs> You'll never know, YouTube. You had to be here. Yeah. It's very thankful that you were muted and deafened at the start, then. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Things got a little raunchy. It's okay, it's okay. No, it's okay, go on, move on. Hey, good for you! I'm dreaming. I, I must be, be dreaming. Uh, that I would ever experience such a dream. Um, uh, uh, I feel strange. I was gonna oh, say, you guys, made, you guys are crazy uh, for YouTube, but I'm not wrong. So. Oh, strange. Yeah. Really strange. Oh, no. Uh, 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 uh. See, I, this is why I said I know Toko's gonna make it strange in a minute. <laughs> yeah, 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 clean up on aisle Toko. Oh, God. Oh, Carl. Oh, <laughs> Carl. <laughs> That's one more shot at Zadar. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> full of arrows tonight. <laughs> I'm joking. Whenever I look at Toko these days, it makes me feel sad. Oh, King Shame. <laughs> no, he's just sad he doesn't have a relationship like that. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I feel <laughs> sad. <laughs> like, I too wish someone would praise me. You don't go. I know, sorry. <laughs> you know, also has a praise king. Yeah. Bianca's gonna end up with like a fucking weird harem, and I hate it. Like, no. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. My concerns is with the bio lab. There was the, it was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. <clears throat> the bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. If this were like a cliche horror game, it'd be some kind of creature, the final boss or tyrant or. Mr. X. We're not in a horror game, though. <laughs> mm. like, are you? <laughs> Ma'am. It's a gray area. <laughs> Either way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. <laughs> we have the Resident we Evil the bio lab. We get into the bio lab, and the final boss is just a mirror. We have to face all of our sins. <laughs> Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood, no matter how much you think about it. Huh. Okay. Finally, good words out of him. And then he ruined it. Your tiny brains can only do so much. So focus on utilizing them efficiently. I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. <laughs> no, how I said it is right too. <laughs> he needs an Adora kick to the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I, Kyoko didn't say anything about the, the dojo. The buy room was the only room locked to us on the fifth floor. That concerns me. Okay, oh, summarized there. version. There's no need to think about it. All right. Okay, summarized version. I was hoping yeah. she'd say something. I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Alrighty. <gasps> yep, there goes the music. I like how cocky he sounds as if we all didn't... Like if I didn't walk in too and see it. Yeah. <laughs> right. By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor. Well... No, strange. Strange is a massive understatement. Look at it. The smell of flesh and fat and blood. The white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. What the hell are you talking about? The smell itself was horrific, far beyond any normal murder scene. Every body's smell, 
concentrated. They are. They really are. <laughs> Everybody died, starfish. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. But I mean, what the hell happened in that room? I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. A bunch of people were killed in there? Stop. Seriously. I'm gonna throw up. Perhaps that's what was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. I will say, not to downplay it by any means, but... Lots of other tragic shit has happened than eight people dying at a school. To say it's the I most mean, tragic event in human history. We're, we're assuming that that's all it is, though, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. And, 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 that room, we still haven't been able to get into some of the rooms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so, in other words, you know, I, I would add on the uh, little uh, uh, addition to that. So far. Mm-hmm. For now. It could be a many of things. Anyways, I did say that line, yeah. Huh? <laughs> I said I, 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 I said I just said that line. Not you. <laughs> Hi, Imp. <laughs> Hello, Imp. Hi, Imp. We're halfway through. We've discovered white chalk outlines. We're halfway there. Wow. wow. Dying in a chair. It's squid weird on a chair. Anyway. What? It, 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 a, a dead meme. We'll leave it at that. You're thinking the same thing, then. My theory is... Someone cut him off. Damn it. The mass murderer that took place in that room... Uh, is the incident that uh, said to have happened one year ago. Yeah, it is. The awful scene in that room. That was the tragedy that happened a year ago? Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body at Hope of Hope's Peak Academy. If that's true... That would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. I mean, I guess that all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful, super awfully awful. They're right. It's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic hopeless but still how is it not one of us ever heard about something like that happening how? does that mean they really did cover it up well i think that's all the new information we have for now so now what do we do well Starting today, you're all under my command. Or what? But before we proceed, I need to figure something out. Jeez, how, how cocky can you be? You're going to bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. Hey, maybe we can use uh, our um, escape plan. Huh. I'm, really, I'm, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> when I read bust, my mouth almost had nut afterwards. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> The stream is already dirty <laughs> enough, you will. I know. <laughs> I know. It's not even the worst thing. You gotta help it, man. <laughs> Don't be a degenerate. Okay. Oh. So, what is it you want to figure out? Kyoko's identity. 
Mm-hmm. 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 Kyoko's identity. But Kyoko is... Kyoko, right? Yes. But who is she? The rest of us have a clear, definable reason for having been selected at uh, Hope's Peak Academy. Oh, Stellan, how dare you? What do you say? His degenerate <laughs> powers are too powerful, dude. Thank <laughs> 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 mm. you, Stellan. Thank you. <laughs> Kina's the ultimate swimming pluro. Hero's the ultimate clairvoyant. Even Makoto is the ultimate lucky student. You're the ultimate bastard. Hey, you cool. His parents were married. <laughs> <laughs> More unlucky oh than God. lucky these days, but... So what about you, Kyoko? Can anyone... Or, sorry. What about Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what she is? Now that you mention it, she's never told us. Well, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? <clears throat> it's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like. It's a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? We need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicion. So, Kyoko, it's time you told us. I can't. Well, why? Well, why won't you tell us? I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. She doesn't remember? Mm. W what do you mean? Because I don't remember. Well, I called it. What? I have no memory of what I am. You have no memory? You mean... Amnesia? Dot, dot, dot. If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking. But if this is a joke, I'm not laughing. You, you can't be serious right now, can you? I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. But it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. So you have no intention of telling us? She literally just... Then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. What are you going to do to me? Torture me? <laughs> Smug. <laughs> nothing so barbaric as that. That's reserved for Toko. Oh my god. <laughs> I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. Limit my options. Give me the key to your room. Hang on. What? Oh, Biakia. Uh, Biakia? Go forward. I would have, like, Coco said maybe give jealous. Hina the key to your room. I don't know. Coco's gonna get so jelly. But if she gives you her room key... She can't go to sleep in her room. She'll be breaking the school regulation. I think it's more that he has she to let her. She can sleep with Makoto. She has to let her. Hey. He has to let her into her own room. Mm -hmm. I think. That's still super fucked up. And if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. Just hold on. A threat like that. I I understand. Fuck. Good. You're finally in the mood for conversation. She's gonna hand him her key. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Without saying a word, Kyoko walked right up to Biakia and held out her room key to him. What's her name on it? You damn fool. Why do you refuse to talk? She doesn't remember you, John. Whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. Hey, that rhymed. M maybe she really did lose her memory. If you really think about it, 
It doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst school ever. Where only the worst stuff happens, right? Amnesia would fit right in. The worst school? Where only the worst things happen. Do you really mean that? It's Hiro, of course he means that. Like, he only says things he means, you know. Whether he means to or not. Huh? Can you really be sure that life here has been filled with the only the worst things? I mean, you get free protein powder, so that's really not the worst thing. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Uh, perhaps I said too much. Kyoko then turned her back on us and without a word began to walk away. Where do you think you're going? Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to harm any of you. Those were her last words as she left. Kyoko's last words. The dining hall was silent. The only sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. No. What's her deal? I think he went too far. Taking her room key like that. Oh, for her? That, that wasn't far enough. Oh, maybe she gets off the attention. I can't believe her enjoying getting yelled at. Hmm. That's you? my thing. That's my thing. <laughs> You're getting noisy again, Toko. Hmm. Sorry, I can still hear you. The sound of your breathing, your heart beating. It grates on me. He has to know that she's into the degradation. He's an idiot. Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know how you feel, but... But what's Kyoko gonna do now? Plus, this situation... It's just like before. It's no different from when everyone started accusing Sakura. And I... I'm no different either. I still can't stop anyone. Why? Why Hina screaming? Ah! Oh, what the hell? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Because look! Why oh is God. he angry? <laughs> Was he here the whole time? I don't know. It's you. How long have you been standing there? Hang on one second. I'm gonna quickly disconnect from the call. Everyone's coming through like robots for me. Okay. Oh. Weird. I are robot, Chris. Beep boop beep. <laughs> Hi, are we still robots? Uh, we'll see. Okay. Robots. Domo arigato, Mr. Robot. Are we robot? I'm very, very angry. I did not have my stream open. Oh. So long, one second. He mad. Yep. Angry at what? <clears throat> at the thief. Yes, that's right. I'm very sad to tell you there's a thief in your mid. Hearing freeze and die for a penny list on the streets. And he's gone. What the heck was that all about? He said something about his precious getting stolen. Does anyone have any idea what that might mean? It's likely to do something. It's, it likely has something to do with Kyoko. I feel like there's nothing to do huh? with Kyoko. Wait, Misaki is Borkin? Eh? Oh, the stream died just a second ago. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. I'm... Yeah. Maybe that's why we all came through robotic. Maybe your internet dropped. Mm -hmm. Now, Lon, are you taking up all my bandwidth? <laughs> <laughs> Fool. Brother, stop doing things. He's playing anime girls killing monster games. Oh. I mean, that doesn't that's... narrow it down. <laughs> That, Do I you mean, have any idea how little that narrows it down? Yeah, well, I can't actually say I the name of this thing I agree with your choices, brother, but... 
I agree with your choices. But still. <laughs> Alrighty. Is it well, way... if, Is um... it all wrong to DM me? I want to know what he's playing. I mean, you can also just check his Steam. It's public. It should say what he's playing. Um. Oh, yeah, I'm going to Google that. Thank you. Um. <laughs> Why is he not online on my Steam? Hmm. I just check his Discord. It says what he's saying right here on Discord. Brother. <laughs> Brother, <Alrighty>. why? <laughs> um, if I, but okay. chat, chat says I'm back now. So yeah, yeah. I was like, I can't say the name of it on stream. <laughs> you can't it already. I'm already Googling it. So. Alrighty. Who else other than her would be willing and able to steal something from Monokuma? Did Kyoko really steal something from Monokuma? But if that's true, what was it? And why would she do that? Because we all hate Monokuma. Sorry. Ding dong ding bong. Ding bong. Was I supposed to be Juan for these? Juan again? Yeah. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're not here. All right, you're live again. Like on Twitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're back. We're back. Okay. Hello, everybody. We're oh. struggling, Hi. but it's okay. <laughs> it's a weird, it's a weird day today. I don't want it to be a weird day. I know. Luckily, it's, it's Sunday. Being recorded. Oh, uh... Sunday. Oh no! Twitch did yeah. separate it out already. Every time I've gone what? off, every time I've gone offline, there's a two minute. BOD on my on my thing right now. Guys. Oh. oh okay. That's just I mean that just means now Ron has to download this extra two minutes when he goes to download this particular day. <laughs> Sorry, Nalron. See, this is why I record to my computer while streaming. I just didn't want to put the extra strain on my yeah, my CPU. Uh -huh. I used to do that. I used to record and stream at this. No, because you can set it to it for your CPU to do it because it has an encoder chip in there specifically for that. Hmm. Yeah. I'll just I'm I'm gonna restart my computer between this and Dungeons and Dragons. See if that helps. Uh, uh, game. Yeah. <clears throat> Following his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Gotta put the knife away. We, we, I, I, I guess it's not the knife that's got stolen, though, because, like, we've, I, I'm holding it in front of a security camera right now. So. This is really is not the safest place for it, but okay. Is Kyoko really gonna be okay? She can't get into her room. What's she gonna do? Probably go to Hina. Like, can I just sleep with you tonight? <laughs> And Hina would be like, yeah, Yaku's a jerk. Girls night, let's go. Isn't there something I can do? Stick together. Right? Something I can- Oh, they can braid their hairs. What's happening? Why are we fading out slowly? Went to sleep. You know. Okay, the la oh, once no. again, the last time a girl asked to stay in my room, it went terribly. Well, she's probably gonna ask to stay in your room with you tonight, right? Well, also... I'm like the last girl who just switched your nameplate. Yeah. And... <clears throat> I will say this. The rule says you have to sleep in your room. The rules don't say you have to sleep. No, it's... A, yeah, the, the sleep in the dorm. Or, the or room sorry, room well, yeah, in a room. room. But you don't have to sleep. So, I, her solution to Byakuya's threat might have honestly just been like, yes, I'm pulling an all-nighter tonight. <laughs> As Honestly, a... it doesn't say that you have to be in your specific dorm, so she really think you could just sleep in your room. Yeah, you yeah, well, yeah, that's what happened with the... Sayaka. You could even go to one of the rooms of the... A dead person. ...peoples. Yep. Yeah. But, you know, if if she wasn't going to do that, technically she could just stay up all night. She did be really sleep in the room. As I opened my eyes, I realized I'd fallen asleep without realizing it. But more important, did I hear the doorbell? Alright, time to die. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Smart. Alright, time to die. Oh, okay, cool. Yoko? 
I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. Oh, damn. <laughs> See you there. <coughs> See you out of an all night. No. <laughs> hey, wait, Kyoko. Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared into the depths of the darkened hallway. I know we're not supposed to go out during night. No, but that's not. Celeste is dead. But I can't just not go. Well, you could. I mean, Byakia did say not to leave your rooms tonight. Yeah, but Byakia is not the leader, despite the fact that he claims that he is. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Sorry for asking you to meet me so late. It's okay, I'm used to it. Indeed. Well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, right? So does that mean... Does this have something to do with whatever it is you stole from Monokuma? Got it. Monokuma told us earlier someone stole something from him. Was it you? Hmm. The undressing room. That's right. <laughs> no. So I was right. What did you steal? I stole this. Oh! <gasps> she got a Monokuma key. The mono key. Not to, be, not to be confused with the mono key. Uh, quiet, you. The, the, sorry. The, mono, the, the mono key uh, allows him to be king. Hmm? Oh, sorry, that's monarchy. I thought you were making a monarchy joke. <laughs> yeah, monarchy. But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. Probably the only kind of its <laughs> the only key of its kind on Earth. Well, I mean, any smart man would have a copy, but no. Where did you get this? From the headmaster's room. What? You snuck into the headmaster's room? But wasn't it locked? The lock was broken. <gasps> it was Sakura. She did it for us. Oh. She did... Remember what she said in her notes? I'm not gonna just lay down and die. I will fight you. The Sakura broke so, into the headmaster's room for us? Yep. Yeah. That's right. So that we can never- so that we can uncover whatever secret might lay hidden within. She did that. For us. She violated school regulations to help us. She already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place. I noticed the room was open after the class trial was over yesterday. But if I just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why. I used you as a decoy. So you asked me to meet you at the data center in order to... Correct. I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. I took that opportunity to sneak to the headmaster's room, and as a result, I found this key. Wow. Then, what you told me about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? This again, I'm just gonna skip it. It's like the third time we've heard it today. It's a safety student, lying hidden. The ultimate is fair. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do. I, I, I don't know. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Making fun of me. Miss Aki's is much better than mine. <laughs> I feel like flashback Kyoko should be bloody toes from now on. <laughs> <laughs> you find out about this Mukuro Ikusabo while you were in there? I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know all the details yet, but... One thing I do know is that Mukuro Ikusaba is dangerous. D dangerous She may very well be the mastermind. Mastermind?! But didn't Alter Ego say the headmaster was probably the mastermind? No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. 
I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. You make such a strong statement without proof. That's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean Mukuro Ikusaba really could be the mastermind? Anyway, this is one of this is the one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? Sure, but I mean, what's this key even unlock? You think it would have been the room you broke into, to be honest. I don't know yet, which is why. I, think I, might be like I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again while I go out and find out. Why is it always me? Actually, you're the only you. person that you I, I, I know, but like, why is it always only me? Wouldn't I be safer well, if I had someone with me? Well, I mean, let's take a look at it. Like, Yakuya's a douche. I. Yeah, but he, he wants not... to kick. But he wants to kick the mastermind's butt too. So I mean. Yeah, but his douchiness but he'll is use more. It. <laughs> yeah, he'll use it as like a blackmail type of thing, where it's like, well, I yeah. help you do this, so you mm -hmm. have to listen to yeah. me. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. And I, He's I a love... douchebag. <laughs> yeah, I love Hiro and, and Hina, but no. They're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Toko is Toko. Yeah, 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 Hiro and Hina are definitely not the brightest crayons in the tool shed. Yeah. <laughs> so you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't, that's way too dangerous. And you want me to draw his attention, but we don't actually know there's just one mastermind, right? If there's more than one person watching us... But they didn't catch on last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky. Or maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. So in order to communicate with us, they can't also be watching us. As you said, maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're going to run the experiment one more time. Mmm, but the cost of the experiment is your life! Well, your life. Mmm. Our lives? Our lives. And if we're successful again... Then what may have been just a lucky guess will be proven true. So the what did you do to my body statement was like, what did you do to my memories? But why did she say that? That might have just been bad What if she doesn't know... Well, also, what if she, like, was unsure if any other modifications had been done? That's true. I it, it, remember anything. It definitely like, was intentionally something? body, because Monokuma's response was like, What? What? Uh, well, I didn't know your body. Oh, sussy. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever, but I couldn't help just... I couldn't help just stand there and listen. If it is true that the Mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, then there would have to be a period of time where the Mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure that that's actually true, and if we can exploit it. Maybe, but no matter what the reward, the risk is just too high. When I think what might happen if we fail, I don't think you need to worry all that much, after all. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. The restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery, am I wrong? Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I can tell. Mm-hmm. But the door is already open. But if the Mastermind decides to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter. Also, he's been adding rules whenever he feels like it, so... He could just kill us all without a second thought. I see. If that, In that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove that hypothesis. What? In a moment of crisis, will the Mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them no matter what? Or just add more. Mm-hmm. In other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. 
Now, there's no reason not to do it, right? But... If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if that risk means not solving the mystery, we have no choice. Am I wrong? At that moment, I finally realized I had never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead, the enemy standing before us. And with that in view, she just smiled. Yeah, I really think she's the ultimate detective. I think that's her thing. She's the ultimate girl boss. I can't change how I feel, and I wouldn't if I could. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Huh? Your last will and testament? Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it. Yep. If something ever happens to me. If something happens... I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it. And a death without meaning is... Appealing it is meaningless. <laughs> yeah. Please, I want you to hold on to it for me. Fine, I'll hold on to it just because you asked me to. But I'm gonna give it back at some point. You can be sure of that. Yes, of course. That's a death book, Makoto. I can't wait to <laughs> read it and cry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Makoto opens it up. It's like, do you like me? Check yes. Check no. <laughs> check maybe. Um, <laughs> check maybe. <laughs> maybe. Oh, have a good night, Stellan. Have a good night, Stellan. Thanks for coming around. You'll have to check the VOD later to catch up. Or the edited YouTube uh, edition. Did Chris say this? Yes. Oh, one more thing. I'll say it again. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure, because then there's a chance the mastermind might find out, right? Well, there's that too. Huh. You mean there's something else? It's nothing. Forget I said anything. I can't just forget that easily. Okay, then. Shall we begin? I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give it my best shot. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. And like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. No, everything's gonna be fine, I know it. Because it's Kyoko. Talking to myself helped shake off some of my anxiety. And then I got to work. <laughs> <laughs>